Hello Metsoka Universe, uh, in case it wasn't clear, uh, the reason why I didn't put music under the intro was uh, had nothing to do with the game, but the fact that it was all played behind closed doors. And I have to say, um, I don't feel like talking too much about any of the games uh, that I had along the last game, and not because of results or whatever, but because it's not the right time. To have all these games played when we already have two postponed was not the right thing. But a few thoughts on the last game. Um, I think, aside the fact that it was played behind closed doors, yes, there were a few spectators, I think, from, um, you know, uh, the leadership of the club. There were families there, and probably from the players. Um, I even heard that some, player, uh, some fans made it briefly into the stadium, but were um, gently escorted out. Um, there was a firework, like there was in Paris at the beginning of the game. Um, so apart from that fact, that was made it a really weird game to watch. And I think um, a European game behind closed doors is even worse than uh, a league game. A league game, I can maybe get behind it, although I have to say it was already weird, this uh, Derby d'Italia. But it was clear from the beginning, and I don't know how much the atmosphere played in, 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 into that. I don't want to make an excuse about it. That Manchester United, even though they didn't play, I think, what I felt their best squad, although they played a very good squad, were the better team, and they were the exact antidote to the way Lusk plays. Um, Lusk has one way of playing, and they do this very well. This is pressing the opponent and with a few, uh, putting them under pressure, uh, with a few passes, go ahead, not necessarily keep possession, but be quick, and that means you lose the ball uh, uh, again. And if two teams like that, like uh, Salzburg last play like that against each other, it is almost like a rugby game. It goes back, forth, back, forth, back, 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 forth. It's all about uh, positioning and then press high and uh, use the quick opportunities. And Manchester United had the exact recipe against it. Keep the ball. And with Bruno Fernandes, you have the opportunity to do that. Uh, very skilled players. And so it was only a matter of time. Uh, the press also didn't work all the all the well. You, you all could see that there were uh, the um, two main defenders were missing. Um, just didn't gel from the beginning. Um, I do have to say though, uh, they tried and the final result, 5-0, was probably too high, but you know, they did they have two shots on goal? Well, they didn't say there was no shot on goal, but at least there were some shots, but United was by far the better team. Uh, Mata could have made it very early, uh, already 1-0 that the goal by Igalo in the first half, um, that was a beauty, an absolute beauty. Uh, the way he keeps the ball uh, in the air with three or four touches and then, volley, and then more or less volleys it under uh, the crossbar, that was pretty. Then I think Frieza had the only good chance and it was yeah, it came off a deflection. It was uh, blocked by Bailly. Uh, Second half, Lask came out a little bit more, um, how, how to say, they tried. They tried and then they were uh, quickly caught on the count, counter attack uh, where uh, David James in the 56 makes it 2-0, game is done. Uh, Trauner didn't, didn't, didn't look good at that. Then I know Michael, there were a free, few free kicks that it, it didn't work today and then he had one chance where in the box he actually get, gets around the, the, the defender, kind of pull it in. Juan Mata with the perfect move to counteract what Lask is doing. Uh, and it was actually at the point where I was trying to explain to my wife, this is the reason why it's not working with Lask. <laughs> because she just came down, uh, brought the kids to bed. That was, and it, it was just a perfect example. You keep the ball, you kind of delay a, li a, a little bit, uh, await the press, uh, play it long. Mata makes it 3 0. That then two more goals were scored. It's called stoppage time, and especially the one by Greenwood, which went post, post, and in, uh, handled the near post, and then in. Uh, and then uh, Schlager made a mistake on Andres Pereira. Yeah. 
I think those two would need yeah, the three nil I would have taken. I'm wearing not the White Lask jersey. I actually, you know, so far I've always been wearing a jersey of a team that has won. I'm wearing Lask uh, black because of the travesty that happened yesterday in Europe that those games were still played when everything is slowly shutting down as much as possible. Um, the result, of course, plays a little role in that. But yeah, I just, I'm still very proud of Lask of getting that far um, and being our representatives in Europe for Austria. Didn't work out that well yesterday, but hey what, it's my team. I'm super proud of them, despite the loss. It doesn't It doesn't really matter. Uh, the picture at the very beginning of this montage is what uh, I sent to Laska. I even got a reply from them. They said they put uh, pictures fans on the video on the video screen i have not seen but i read that it was happening and me and my daughter said okay let's do that we had the morning for ourselves let's look at the other games that happened uh Bajakshi here gets a one nil win over copenhagen they had a uh, um shot at the post where lara large about him there was a big miss by them baba after uh, a um, cross from rubinho they get a late penalty the Vistia, um Converts, which basically, as you know, there was, um, or still is, this battle between Turkey and Austria, with which with the draw, it was more or less over. That basically, with Lask's loss, this was the top of it. But honestly, I, I yesterday I couldn't care less about all this. Basel, wonderful free kick by Campo to make it 1 0 at, uh, at Frankfurt, also played behind closed doors. Frankfurt then tries to move up and get goals and it's called on a counter-attack by Bua after a six by Kanto, a Campo and then Frey in the 85th makes it even worse at that point Lask and Frankfurt were almost, almost, almost going the same way Lask just lost a little bit more but a uh, pretty bad loss for Frankfurt it has to be said then in the late games um, we had one game behind uh, <laughs> Uh, behind, we, no, no, not behind us, because of the one game, uh, Rain, Rangers Leverkusen, that was played uh, with spectators. Uh, but um, that Leverkusen dominated most of the time, and Kai Havertz uh, showed his good form. Um, Havertz converts a penalty, Arangis with a nice shot from a distance, makes it 2 0. Uh, Edmondson. Pulls one back and Bailey with a really nice goal makes it 3 1. And now the last two um, behind closed doors. Wolfsburg it was a weird game because there were two penalties missed. First one by Schachter after uh, Moraes had already given Schachter the lead. And then even worse, uh, Weghorst. Uh, you know, he uh, with a technique like Kane, but he, he just slips and the ball goes over the line. Uh, over, over, over the goal, Brooks gets the equalizer, but very late, Marcos Antonio makes it 2-1. And then Olympiacos, Wolves. A, Wolves didn't even play that, but I was really wondering why is Olympiacos again, uh, Wolves playing in green. It was weird in the sense that Semedo is going to say as a sent off, um, because uh, he blocked Diego Jota, who would have been clear on goal. A red card. Maybe a little, a little bit harsh, but I think I, I, it, you can give that one. But then it was Olympiacos, who actually was the better one. And El Arabi, after Guillermo across, makes it 1-0 for Olympiacos. And Pedro Neto gets a little bit late, uh, gets a few minutes later the, the equalizer, but was not a great game. So, yeah, that was the Europa League. Uh, I hope that UEFA calls it quits uh, soon, and then we'll see what will happen, it just seemed not right to have this game played yesterday. But hey, let me know your thoughts on all of, all of that, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I'll talk to you soon, bye! Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.